Get a little further down the road, look, we got an accumulation of uh, metamorphosed uh, sedimentary rocks, it appears. Looks like some slates and what the shit. Maybe it's not cooked, I don't know, who knows. Either way, sedimentary rocks. Oh, look, just a little Latalus pile right here on the side of the road. We got uh, some of the beetle daisies, as they're colloquially known. You can see because they are, uh, their ligules mimic beetles uh, hanging out on the... Uh, Edge of that uh, perianth right there. You can see those little black spots. Almost fooled me. I mean, if, when you're standing four feet above these things, they actually do look like beetles. It's pretty remarkable. But then when you get close, you can see it's just the... It's just the ligules fucking around. Just got a little bit of speckling on them. And a little uh, swollen bit there at the base. Of course, I guess uh, you could probably figure out what pollinates these. There's those uh, florets inside. You can see about four of them right there with their little styles poking out. Flip it over. Look at the phyleries. Look, these things are just covered in hairs. Phyleries are linear. Those little, uh, almost look like stinging hairs, but I'm not getting stung. Just stiff little hairs. It's a pollination strategy, if you ask me. A pretty, uh, pretty bizarre one. wonder how long it took that to evolve another variation on a beetle daisy you can see this has this has quite a few beetle-like patterns on it got about the uh, how many is it seven what about this yeah you got eight right there one of the ligules on the other one fell off look at that we have seen quite a few beetles there the phyleries on these look at that smooth almost no hairs on the actual phyleries waxy very, uh, look, oh, look at that. The ligules on the undersides have a little stripe, too. There's those leaves. They're looking like a little uh, top of an iron, a wrought iron fence right there. Spade shaped. Triffid. Bits of the shales everywhere. More of those little daisies. Succulent bastard. <laughs> How's that for a, an eloquent description? Probably Mesembryanthem and Mace. Well, Isoacea, not but one of the Missems, but nice little termite mound that somebody dug a little hole into. God damn, another weird aster with oak-like leaves. Look at that. Another weird composite. Ah, look at those filleries. God damn. Ligulate flowers. Look at how spiny those filleries are. Jesus. Look at this. Who do we got hanging out on this uh, albuca right here? Like your patterning, sir, or ma'am, whatever. Look at this. This is rock, but it looks like wood chips. This substrate is incredible. Jesus Christ! How do you? How does it do that? Just uh, you know, however many hundreds of millions of years old uh, marine sediments. You get some time to get cooked, get deformed a little bit. Still got some nice foliation in it though. This thing right here, you got, a, you got the tetragonia. Succulent and juicy with the weird uh, winged fruit, almost reminiscent of sap and daisy, but it's not. And then here's this, one of the curly whirlies. I heard about this. This is a convergent trait among many of the plants here to get these curly Q leaves. These almost curled like a spring. The geophytes here do that. Apparently it helps them collect uh, dew. Helps them collect water vapor in the evening and in the morning, which then, uh, you know, get channeled down to that, uh, that storage tissue in a base right there. The curly whirly. Look at it. A nice monocot going off with a beetle. Just poking his ass out of that inflorescence. Hairy little beetle too. Six stamens, little champagne bottle of an ovary. Three lobe style on top of the champagne bottle. Yeah, you got some interesting lichen down there. Look at that. Almost looks like a lithops. Nice, nice iris too. Iridaceae. With uh, the kind of form we're used to in North America with those uh, petaloid styles up top. Many different subfamilies of iris family. Oh, the lacanalia is done.
Ah, oh, little little late for that guy. See that the whole stalk's gone to fruit already. Look at that. I guess beetles do a lot of the pollinating here. This fucker's just covered in pollen. Look at that. Look at that guy. Up there. Sorry. Oh, we got a little viper in there. Hey, guy, how's it going? Oh, you're cute. Are you deadly? Probably. He just made some hissing sound. You know, we were walking around, stepped a little too close. He made a squeaking noise, then he ran in there. You don't, you don't gotta be so mad, okay? Oh, he's a little mad. I understand why you're mad. I don't, you know, people are obnoxious. I get it, but we're not gonna bother you too much. We just want some nice money shots. Oh, yeah. We just want some nice money shots, then we'll leave you alone. You're breathing so hard, you know? Is that necessary? Are you that mad? Probably. You got those beautiful horns above your eyes. Okay, kind of a stubby little tail, but that's there's nothing wrong with that. You're gorgeous, you know that? Okay, we're gonna leave you alone now. Do you like uh, Namaqua land? Look what we got here. One of the succulent milkweeds. Family, of course, is a Pastanaceae. There's those uh, those fruits looking like little bullhorns. Follicles, maturing follicles. Succulent stems, look at the little, the little uh, protrusions they have on the end. There's, is that the new growth? Still somewhat soft, whereas these are somewhat uh, woody and stiff and hard. <laughs> Sound like I'm uh, narrating some sort of a homoerotic uh, uh, fiction. Anyway, look at it. Too too bad we uh, were too late to catch them in flower, but you got the fruits. That's good enough. Everything's got that speckling here. Now that's a weird uh, variation on Areocephalus. You can tell we're going to a uh, we're getting a in a drier climate. Look how reduced those leaves are. Look at that. You still got those same cottony uh, flower heads. Look at that. Look at his succulent composites. Succulent members of the Asteraceae. Waxy. Waxy phyleries. No hairs on these guys. Ligules kind of curved in. The daisy rays are kind of curved in. It's all right. Look, they got, they got the juicy resin in them, too. There's so many of these uh, succulent composites, these succulent Asteraceae in, uh, in South Africa. Very bizarre. You know, of course, we know them in North America because they're generally uh, overused in horticulture. You know, you see them as, uh, you know, just bastardized in a pot, slowly dying on someone's porch. But, just, you know, of course, to see everything in habitat is a whole other story. Well, this guy's a long way from home, huh? Invasive Amsinkia. Well, it's invasive here. Native, uh, native to where we are, part of the ecosystem there, but about, I don't know, four dozen million years removed from the ecosystem here, at least. Just grown as a uh, roadside weed. Yeah, There's all kinds of metamorphous the style right here. Got schists, got phyllites. You got the foliation, cooked sediments. Got the Asphodelaceae, the aloe family here. Okay, kind of looks like it. Almost the. Uh, I bet these die back. I bet these leaves die back. Maybe not. Look at the striations on them, though. All done. Post flower. Bulbine's the genus here. Bulbine. Got some seeds in there, though. Oops, didn't mean to pull this guy up. I was trying to see if I could get the pull those uh, capsules off to get photos of the uh, the phytomelanin in the uh, fruits, the little black uh, fruits. Asparagales is the order here. Anyway, I pulled them up, and you can see he does indeed have a little storage organ down there. I'm gonna have to put him back, somehow scrape away the, uh, scrape away these cooked rocks, the phyllites and what they should put them back in there. Sorry, guy. These are masters of camouflage. This genus does some incredible stuff. Kona fight them. Isoaceousbastards.com. Look at that, just blending in. Look at this. So, you know, it looks like it's just this stem succulent, but it's not. Those are actually leaves. You can see there's a little slit right there as well. Almost looking like a little mouth. That's where they split. So you just got the same two leaves. They grow, die, then out of that, you know, out of that meristem in the center, another two grow. 
they're in the next, uh, I guess, next growing season, whenever, you know, whenever they deem it right. And you just got that kind of woody base, too, you can see. I guess those are actually two, two old leaves, huh? Okay, same family as that cone of phytum, Isoaceae. Look, here's the flowers. Looks like they're done. They're already maturing the fruit. Got a woody base. Look at all those. Are just a bunch of little rings, it looks like, huh? Bunch of little rings. Segmented. And again, just two leaves. Two succulent leaves. Two succulent leaves per stem. Covered in the, uh, those crystals. The crystalline. How are you looking at it? Segmented fruits. Almost resembling a little fig. There's the sepals still. On top of that fruit. Juicy peduncles. What a weird family. And you can see they're uh, doing very well for themselves here. More isoaceous bastards. You're, getting, you're really getting beat over the head with these guys. But look, notable what they're doing. Again, just two leaves. I can't really tell there. Maybe, maybe there. Maybe you can tell there. Just two leaves, then another segment, another series of two leaves, then another series of two leaves, then maybe a flower coming out from in between those two leaves. Then you just get another series of two leaves, etc. Two succulent, juicy leaves. As we get these scrof bushes over here. Glandular, very glandular. The fruit still got those styles hanging out. Flowers still going off at the top, done, done towards the bottom. Look at a perianth. Tubular flowers, and again, just hairy and glandular. And quite fragrant. So many goddamn weird asters here. So many weird composites. So there you go. Apparently only the outer florets get pollinated and then that's the maturing fruit. That Those are what the Achaeans mature into. These little spiny berries. Looks like you're going to have five of them on this one. Maybe four on this one. You could see the old florets that didn't get pollinated. Right there. What's left of them at least. And then here's a flower. Still going off. Still got the ligules on them. Phyleries are those succulent bastards. Succulent, juicy phyleries. Then you got, looks like another, I don't know if you consider those phyleries, those three bracts at the base. What is the sunflower doing in South Africa? What is the sunflower family doing in South Africa? God damn. So here, here we got one of those curly whirlies. Is they're colloquially known in the region. Curly whirlies, spirally wileries. The twisty bastards, that convergent trait among uh, many unrelated plants here uh, in uh, the north part of the western cape of South Africa. Flowers starting to senesce. It's apparently in iris, but uh, you can see just about done. Petaloid uh, styles, though. Petaloid styles. Look at this. One of those uh, damn, another one of those damn curly, whirly, wiry, twi, whatever the shit you call those. But again, that convergent trait, these leaves are rather glandular, surprisingly. That convergent trait of uh, just spiraling, very narrow leaves. And there's that flower right there. Such a lovely monocot. Look at that ovary right there. Oh yeah, we get the stamens on either side. And then in the background right there, you got a crassula. Ah, doesn't even have to be in flower to just uh, get a nice oomph. God damn, look at that. Decusate. Decusate succulent leaves. Somewhat glaucous. Look at there's the landscape right there. You got we're starting to get into the quartz plains. Alright, probably still four hours from the Namib Namibian border. Just the alluvial flats. Well, not so flat. You got you got some undulation there. Look at this another mesem. Isoaceous bastards. With a bunch of beetles hanging out, probably banging, probably doing a unforgivable things in a flower. Oh, you can be forgiven. It's the way. Look at that. Uh, look at that style in the center. So many different lobes to that style. All the stamens surrounding, it. and then of course there's the fruits. That's what they look like when they're done. Juicy, many carpeled, many carpeled.
Many carpooled fruit on that stack. Dries out. Look, you still got the uh, remnant, the sepals on this. Dries out, becomes a little capsule. And again, just those two leaves. Two leaves. Multiple series of two. And over here, we got uh, another Lacanalia. Done. All the Lacanalia are done. They're bangers, though. Look at that. More cone of phytum. Look at that. The split in between those two leaves just looking like a little mouth. Okay, so uh, back in the Isoacea dungeon. Okay, everything here is an Isoacea dungeon. Look at this guy. Look at that. Still green, okay. Still doing the series of two leaves, but uh, blending in somewhat uh, in this uh, quartz landscape. More Isoacea right there. Look at those little guys. This family really has a monopoly here. It's pretty impressive. Look at that. Look at that. It goes on forever. Look, we got a nice little uh, isoaceous display right here on this uh, metamorphous sandstone shelf. Look at that. How many different, how many different genera? How many different species? How many different genera? That appears to be a Crassalacea right there. Can't quite tell. No, maybe that's still... Oh yeah, look, you got a little cone of phytum right there. Just hiding out. Quartz everywhere. These fruits done. <clears throat> that's bizarre. Very bizarre. Still no idea what half this stuff is. Can get it down to family, maybe down to genus. Who cares? We'll figure it out later. Just marveling at the diversity right now. Look at that. Bifurcated and isoaceous. Look at it. And everything pointing towards the north, too. Probably to limit uh, how much surface area is exposed to that sun. You end up being very bifurcated when you're a, a member of the eyes always see. There's two leaves. If there's an old peduncle. Two leaves. Another eyes always just passing. I wish I could tell you more besides eyes always just passing. That'll have to work for now. Look at that. You can see that milkweed vine. Microloma is the genus on that guy. And he's right here, too. He's taking over this dead bush. He's making use of it. Look at it. Just covered in flowers. There's the uh, maturing fruit. The maturing follicle. Because we are talking a Pasanaceae right here. Got banger of a milkweed. Look at that. And then who's this guy? Again with those damn curly whirly leaves, those all over the place. Among the geophytes. I can't get over it. Intense metamorphic action, hot metamorphic action on this rock. You can tell it's just been cooked. See the striations? Subjected to intense, probably depth too, pressure. Intense heat and pressure. I mean, originally, presumably it was sandstone, but Jesus Christ, it quite old too. Five or 600 million years, had plenty of time. So uh, coming up next to a giant termite mound, we get this tiny little oxalis. Look at that guy. Petals have been uh, gnawed off. Still got his little uh, clover-like leaves at the base, though. Reddening. Is he an annual? Presumably. Okay, so presumably all this uh, all this quartz here just originally weathered out of granite. Just going out on a limb and then was uh, deposited here God knows how long ago. And it's, uh, made, could have been, you know, could have been, uh, could have been secondarily, uh, 
uh, produce the, I don't know, the sandstone? Who the fuck knows? But what do you call it when it does this? What do you call it? Look at it. It's almost, uh, it, it's kind of obscene. I don't know if obscene. It certainly makes me feel uncomfortable. All right. And then you got the, you got more of these isolation bastards just blending in with the rocks, doing a whole rock mimicry thing on the quartz. I mean, just, just incredible. This family is so species rich here. It's had so much success. God damn, look at that. What, <laughs> it looks like some sort of deranged uh, dog toy, maybe? Who knows? Definitely obscene. Definitely weird. Definitely weird. Definitely, that, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. It's just fucking otherworldly. You can see everything here is just sucking. Look, look at this. It's Crassilacy. Crassilacy. Actually, it looks like the genus Crassula. Little post flower. A little past the maturity right there. Look, this guy didn't. Look, he's just, his fruit is just maturing right next to those two leaves. Two leaves, two leaves, just, you know. Incredible. God damn. These guys are they're doing it, they're almost doing it better than cacti. Just blending in with the racks. Look at it. The green really gives them away though. I do have to be honest. You know, you hide pretty well, but the green gives you away. Look at this. Got another one, another uh, species, maybe another genus. I really love to see these things when they're flowering. Wonder how they get it done. Look, that fruit is still sessile in that, uh, in between those leaves, so. Probably just looks like a bunch of little uh, staminodes poking out of the ground. Look, there's, there's a tiny one. Oh, it's a little baby, huh? Yeah, it kind of looks gross, don't it? Hi everybody, this is Tony. I gotta overdub this one because I fucked it up when I was out there in a the field. Uh, this is a, a drosanthemum species and these are epidermal bladder cells, those little icicles uh, on those uh, leaves and a flower buds. This is what gives uh, some plants in this family the colloquial name, ice plants. God, everything here just, it looks Dr. Seuss-like. It's unreal. I'm almost speechless. A little too obnoxious to be totally speechless, but almost. Just seems like everything is either isoace, crassulace, or maybe yeah, you got some you got some comps too. You got some asteraceae. Starting to get a little bit chilly now. Maybe 65 degrees, maybe 60. Look at this, we're getting a little more shrubby. Got more cone of phytum still. Look at this weirdo. Interesting Corolla you have. With this stamens just barely dipping out of the center of that. Brax subtending that uh, flower. Those flowers are all done. Oh, look, you got a asteraceae, a little shrub, a shrub composite, a shrub camp. Again, very glandular. Look at the hairs. Almost a thistle like involucre right there. I'm wondering this if this is a cardioidea, the thistle subfamily, which is quite large on the African continent, quite species rich. Look, 
You gotta get those cone of items are so cute, huh? Aren't they? Look at it. You got the nice uh, lichen on the ground and whatnot. Weird oxalis. Another weird little eyes. Looking like a cone of phytum. Looks like he's still got the remnants of the flower in there. Just looks like little green eyes on the thing, on the quartz. Just natural landscaping. And another diminutive little iris. Look at those flowers. What's going on there? Style above the anthers. Of course, you get the yellow patterning on the bottom. And the bottom three, the bottom three peoples. The big bracts, and then there's that the little iris leaf, little unifacial iris leaf. Look at that, here we go. More of this, this guy's just about, oh, he's just close, looks like he's just closing up for today. I don't think he's done completely. Little, little chubby green fingers everywhere. All I see is chubby green fingers all over this isoaceous landscape. Anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. You get something out of that. Damn, look at that. This fucking family, man. We don't get very many of them in North America, but down here. It's really, it's really had a heyday. That's all I got. Have a good rest of your evening. Go fuck yourself. Bye.